Hello, and welcome to another wonderful Wired Wednesday. My name is Ashley, and this is Connecting on the Go, Understanding Mobile Data and Wi-Fi. What is Wi-Fi? Imagine the internet is like a big library with all sorts of information. Normally, you need a cable to connect your computer to the library. Wi-Fi acts like an invisible wireless signal, like a radio wave that connects your devices, computer, phone, tablet, to the internet without a cable. You have to be within reach of the Wi-Fi router to get internet. And this is how Wi-Fi works. You go from the internet server, which is the World Wide Web, to an internet modem, to the wireless router, which then spreads that wireless signal throughout your home. You can connect tablets, phones, printers to this as well, um, anything that is wireless, basically. And then you also have wired connections, which are ethernet cables that will come from a router to your computer if you have one that just stay, that just is at home or if you want a, a more solid internet connection you can do that as well um, they look like big phone cables benefits of wi-fi stronger signal wi-fi generally offers a stronger and more reliable connection than mobile cellular data especially indoors this means faster browsing smoother streaming and fewer interruptions it's free to use at home as long as you pay for internet service at home, Wi-Fi is free to use, no extra charges on your phone bill. Saves battery life. Using Wi-Fi instead of mobile cellular data can help you conserve battery life on your devices. Drawbacks of Wi-Fi. Limited range. Wi-Fi signals don't travel as far as mobile cellular data. You'll need to be within range of a router, usually at home, the library, work, a coffee shop with guest Wi-Fi. Security concerns. Be careful using free, public, or guest Wi-Fi, as it might not be secure for things like online banking. It's like making a phone call in a public booth. Anyone nearby could potentially listen in. What is mobile cellular data? Mobile cellular data is like having a mobile phone for your internet. It travels with you. Your phone company provides the signal using cell towers spread throughout the town or city. Imagine these towers as giant cell phone base stations. Mobile data works. You have a cellular tower which connects you to LTE, 3G, 4G, or 5G, which is the internet connection, and then it sends it to your smartphone. And you can use your internet on your smartphone, you can check emails, those kinds of things. Benefits of mobile cellular data Connection almost anywhere. Mobile cellular data lets you stay connected to the internet almost anywhere you have a signal, unlike Wi Fi, which has limited range. This is handy for browsing, using maps, or checking emails when you're out and about. Convenience. No need to search for a Wi-Fi network. Your phone automatically connects to mobile cellular data when Wi-Fi isn't available unless your mobile can be slower. Mobile cellular data speeds can vary depending on your location and plan. It may not always be as fast as Wi-Fi. It costs money. Mobile cellular data usage is usually charged based on the amount of data you use. Be sure to check your phone plan to avoid overage charges. A lot of plans now will actually give you so much data per month, and then if you use that data, it will just slow it down so you won't have the connection speeds until the next month. However, there are still some phone companies that are charging overage charges. You'll receive a few text messages to let you know that you're getting to your limit, and then once you get to your limit, your, your cellular data will stop, and then they will try to um, get you to add more. Roaming refers to the ability to use your phone outside of your home network's coverage area. So, you know, if you're Rogers, it's outside the Rogers uh, area. If it, you're Bell, it's outside the Bell area, et cetera, et cetera. Roaming lets your phone use another company's cell towers when you travel beyond your home's network area, but it might cost extra and the signal could be weaker. If you're going away, sometimes you can add on a roaming mobile data plan. And that When would you use roaming data? Traveling abroad. When you visit another country, your phone company likely won't have towers there. Roaming data allows you to use the internet on your phone for things like maps, translation apps, or ride sharing services, even though you're outside your home network. Rural areas with spotty coverage, like Northern Ontario, for example. Even within your own country, there might be rural areas where your home network signal is weak or non-existent. Roaming data lets you use another company's network in those areas to stay connected 
choosing between Wi-Fi or mobile cellular data. Here's a simple trick. When you're at home or somewhere with free, secure Wi-Fi, use that. It saves battery and avoids data charges. When you're on the go and need to stay connected, security tip. Remember, public Wi-Fi might not be secure. If you must access important information like your bank account, it's best to wait. And finally, a recap. Wi-Fi, strong signal, free at home or where free Wi-Fi is enabled, limited range. Mobile cellular data connects. And that's understanding mobile and Wi-Fi. Have a great day.